Hi everybody, Mark Sage, Executive Director of the Area AR for Enterprise Alliance, and I'm here with um, Alex Gibson, a long-time supporter of the area, and in fact, the area's been a long-time supporter of your work, Alex, um, and we're going to be talking today about the AR VR Innovate event. We've supported this for a number of years. I've been there for a fantastic number of years. I really enjoy it. So tell us a little bit about the history and the goal of your event. Yeah, well, this year, thanks again, Mark, for the opportunity to talk to your members about the event. And we've had many of them attend down the years, as you mentioned. Uh, we're celebrating an important milestone this year. It's the 10th anniversary of the event. So I think it's fair to call it a veteran in the uh, augmented reality, virtual reality conference circuit. This year, it's taking place on Wednesday, the 8th of May in the RDS Conference Centre here in Dublin. And uh, we'd love to see as many area members as possible make it along. We've got a really great uh, schedule of speakers, but also content and expo uh, for people to experience the technology at first hand. Fantastic. Anything new from previous years this year, Alex? Yeah, um, this year we're having a, a startup investor uh, summit as part of the event. So perhaps uh, organizations or indeed individuals are at the very early stage in creating uh, augmented reality concepts for various verticals. That would certainly be of interest to them in getting in front of uh, some top UK and uh, Irish uh, members of the investor community. That's that's new this year. Fantastic. And And kind of who are people likely to see? Who are the kind of sponsors and who will be at the event? Well, obviously, we're delighted uh, to have the continued support of the area, uh, who will also be on a panel discussion on the main stage itself on, on the Wednesday, the 8th of May. Uh, we have a lot of support from uh, UK this year. Um, new this year, for example, is a delegation coming from Invest Northeast. Uh, and we're also delighted to welcome back again to Dublin a delegation from Invest Wales. Uh, we've got sponsors from Irish companies as well, such as uh, Virtual Reality AI, VR AI, and also from Vstream. And we have a number of new sponsors arising, I can't quite say at the moment, but in the legal space, I'm hoping to announce something pretty soon, and also in the hardware space. So there'll be a lot of technology to experience in the big exhibition hall, as well as listening to top uh, international speakers from uh, from Ireland, obviously, from the UK, from, from Germany, uh, uh, to name just a few countries where people are coming to speak at the event. Fantastic. And in my experience, it's really important to have the expo so people can actually use the technology, understand it, and just spend some time actually being immersed in a, an immersive world, which is great. It's really uh, important, yeah, and we'll have about 25 uh, uh, exhibiting, uh, participating companies in, in that uh, exhibition hall. So yeah, you're absolutely right. Um, as I often say, uh, wearing is believing when it comes to AR and VR. I think when people try the technology and see what's being done right now in enterprise contexts, in education contexts, in simulation and uh, training contexts, all of these areas are really experiencing huge growth at, at the moment. And uh, at the conference, people will get a chance to meet and interact with companies in that space and try out the technology. Fantastic. So the last kind of question, who should attend this event? Well, I think there's huge interest in this space, as you know, Mark, augmented reality, virtual reality, spatial computing. So I think a lot of people will have an interest in it uh, from a wide variety of sectors, for example, you know, manufacturing. Um, obviously, we've got tourism, healthcare it would be a big area, education. So it's a very broad range of um, areas I think people would have an interest and would find benefit in attending the event. Fantastic. Um, Okay, so the, the area is also supporting it. Can yeah, you... so th this year, um, as I said, delighted to have the continued support and we're um, again delighted to announce that the area are participating in a dedicated workshop which will take place the day prior to the event. I know that, Mark, uh, you and I worked on this for the first time last year and it was a really big success. Um, maybe you actually might be better placed than me to tell the audience here about what, what's involved in the workshop because you've run them here in Ireland obviously and you've run them in the UK and they really are, I think they're fantastic learning, deep dive learning opportunities for people. Yeah, no, thank you Alex and actually run them all over the world and they, they've always gone down really well. It, it's basically looking at delivering AR use cases. So what problems can you solve using the technology? But taking the attendees through a number of different kind of touch points or things they need to consider when they're developing a use case. Quite often they find a problem and they focus very much on the technology. But we find with, with certainly delivering AR, there are other things and other barriers to overcome. So within the workshop, we put them into smaller groups. We ask them to think of a problem, a use case they'd like to solve. 
Um, but then we go through a kind of 11 step process of things they need to consider. So anything from, you know, defining the problem accurately and carefully to explain them what difference will make using AR to then thinking of what assets are in, available and where they are within the um, infrastructure within their organizations, uh, any infrastructure needs like connectivity and, and connections and things like that. And then we go through another a bunch of steps on the human side, on the stakeholder management side. And basically by the end of the, the hour or two hours, however long we take the um, workshop to do, one, they've kind of learned from the other peers that are in the workshop. And two, they have understand they understand now that to actually deliver a good AR use case takes a little bit more than just putting some technology in. And that's something you know, we're trying to emphasize through the area that it's actually about change management and helping companies you know, deliver the technology effectively. So that's what the workshop is about. It's very interactive. It's always great fun. You know, there's opportunities as I said, to meet with other people and learn from them. And then I kind of help summarize at the end to maybe pick out some key points and they go away with a template at the end that they can then work, use in their own organizations to hopefully successfully deploy AR um, on a variety of different use cases. Yeah, and I have to say, you know, having attended the UK one and, and obviously the Irish one last year, yeah, there's huge benefit for companies. And we, we have a wide representation of companies have typically participated, companies in, uh, for example, computer chip manufacturing, uh, pharmaceutical companies would be quite um, strong representation there. But anything with a strong enterprise context, I think, is obviously where there's an opportunity for people to learn. So the conference itself, um, ARVR Innovate is on again, as I said, on the Wednesday, the 8th of May in Dublin, and the workshop is the day prior. I think if people are interested in the workshop specifically, Mark, I think you're okay with them contacting you directly because it's uh, it's it's led by the, the area. And in terms of the conference itself, uh, I'm delighted to say that we will offer area members a 30% discount. And again, Mark, thanks very much for agreeing to uh, channel any of those queries. People can get in contact with Mark uh, directly, but we're really looking forward to seeing a wide representation of area members or area prospective members joining us in Dublin uh, on Wednesday, the 8th of May for the conference and hopefully some of you also for the uh, workshop the prior day. And uh, for those of you who haven't been to Dublin, I think Mark can justifiably uh, re re-emphasize what a good location for a conference it is as well. Both the, the learning opportunities, but also the social interaction opportunities are, are very well-renowned, I think it's fair to say. So we look forward to seeing lots of people there. Indeed, it's a great event. You can go to the area website as well. You can go to the ARVR Innovate website and the area website and all the information is there. Alex, look forward to seeing you again in person very soon. And thanks so much um, for your time today. And thank you, Mark, for the opportunity. Thank you.